My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a pretty amazing 1968 GTO and actually what I was just thinking, I was trying to think what I priced it at. It's already priced online, but it's not enough. This is a great car. You've got hideaway headlights. You have a four-speed transmission with air conditioning under the hood, hood tachometer, gauges, posi rear end, great colors, rally one wheels with radial redline tires. It's just a really great car. I didn't mention its number is matching as well, and it's a southern rust-free car. So this is a really good one with all the boxes get checked on this car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs and study all the pictures top to bottom. And you will find prices on every single collector car we offer uh, for sale at volocars.com. I hope you enjoy the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I don't know if I even mentioned what it is. It's a 1968 Pontiac GTO. And again, four speed with air, you don't find me. You find automatics with air, but uh, four speed with air, it's a pretty big deal. Underneath the car, dry, clean metal. I just caught a glimpse inside the wheel well here. No undercoat, it's just painted metal and it's clean. I see the factory spot welds. The floors are dry as a bone. The braces, the floor pans, the rockers, all clean metal. Someone just prepped them and dusted them with some nice semi-gloss black so they look real good. This car has the F41 suspension, that sway bars front and back. It has the boxed control arms in the back. And it looks like all of the suspension's been rebuilt, even in the back, the bushings, the shackles, uh, not the shackles on this one, that's the Camaro that I just did. Uh, but anyway, the shocks, the bushings, uh, up front, the ball joints, all the steering components, uh, that's all been rebuilt and replaced. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's perfectly clean. We have pictures of the motor uh, uh, taken out of the car and apart. Uh, that was rebuilt um, back around 09, but I don't think there's many miles on it. It still looks so fresh. It is the number match motor, and on a Pontiac, it's actually, you look at it from down below. Uh, it's below the radiator hose. The VIN number that matches here is actually stamped on the engine. So it's the original 400 motor. Uh, it has a Super T10 four-speed transmission. Uh, it has a 10-bolt posi rear end in the back. Uh, it's got a nice pipes exhaust. It sounds great. You'll hear it towards the end of this video. Uh, it has the X pipe. It's fat. It's stainless steel, <clears throat> and it sounds incredible. Uh, brakes, they're disc in front, yeah, disc in front, e-brake assembly, uh, the cables, uh, the brake lines, everything looks fresh. So again, under the car is very, very respectable. Now let's check out the body. Uh, this is the original color. I checked the uh, paint code. Uh, you got a really nice vinyl top. <clears throat> it's nice and soft, so I'm sure it's been replaced. Fits real nice, no bumps or issues. The trim around it's all real nice, a little bit tarnished, this corner piece here. Original window, it does have light, a couple light scratches. It is a rear defroster car. Uh, so this trunk lid, uh, no issues, fits square, no bubbles at all. New emblem, no bubbles down here. This is all real nice. No issues along the trim here. Down low, it's all clean. No bubbles at all, I'm feeling. There is a black stripe down here. I didn't even notice that. Right along the body line is a dual pinstripe. This door fits square and flush. The rocker molding straight and shiny. Door handles look new. But again, I'm mostly focusing on the body right now. And this is, it's all clean. Square, it fits flush. Got a hood tachometer. Yeah, this hood lines up real nice. Uh, the rubber bumper, there's a couple nicks right here. Uh, I don't see any cracking. The rubber bumper's in really nice shape. I don't see any cracks in the rubber bumper. All of this is real nice. The grills look real good, original. 
Uh, they do work, they're vacuum. You'll see it towards the end of the video, so they're a little slow, they're vacuum, but they do work. Yeah, this hood fits real nice. Correct original antenna. Looks like the original windshield has some real faint wiper marks on it. The uh, vent window chrome is real nice. Oh, there's one bubble, smaller than my pinky nail down here in the corner of the door. Window seals, fuzzy strips are replaced. Yeah, it's a really nice body, folks. The uh, Indian head arrows here. Uh, not Indian head, but uh, Indian arrows are uh, look original or a little tarnished. The bumper is sparkling. Does have the flared tips, very similar to the original. Has a remote mirror. Does have some freckles on the mirror. That's original. Car's from Louisiana. We just took it in on trade. Uh, he brought the car all the way up here. Rally One Wheels. They look like they're all new or restored, and you got some Coker uh, Redline radial tires on there. So we know the outside's beautiful. Let's check out the inside. I'm going to show you what a real solid, clean trunk compartment looks like. Uh, first of all, the bottom of the trunk lid's painted up beautifully. It's nice and glossy. The weather strip is replaced. The trunk floor needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I'll ask the guys to do that. Uh, but rock solid. I don't even see the hint of rust or fiberglass repair, nothing like that. All clean, clean metal. Now, this is an SS wheel. It bolts on here. It is a new tire, uh, so it's very functional. It's not pretty. Uh, but what you've got over here on the other side is the original uh, collapsible spare with the jack and the air bottle. Uh, it's pretty cool to still have that. Uh, I'm sure he bought this other tire and rim just, just to have it uh, in case. Uh, but anyway, really clean metal in here. Even inside the quarter panels, they're the originals. I don't see any cuts or splices. Uh, the seams and the jams uh, make me believe it's the original quarter panels as well. So other than a little cleanup our guys need to do there, uh, it's looking really good. So you got nice, uh, clean, respectable door jams. The weather strip is new. Door panels in mint condition. Got the little joystick for the uh, remote mirror. Now inside the car, I can tell you the instrument bezel must have been replaced because all the chrome is sparkling. The lenses are clear. Uh, to the left, you do have the gauge cluster. And then to the right, we have a clock with quartz movement in it. Actually, the clock's not working. I swear it was working when I pulled the car in here. Typical clock. Uh, dash pad's new. The AC vent's new. So all across here is all really nice. The vent's down below, and uh, everything's real clean and tidy. New glove box liner. Original AM radio. <coughs> Got a nice, this is a deluxe steering wheel. And the coolest part of all is this four-speed sticking out of the hump. Uh, shifts real nice and tight. It's a Hurst shifter. Down on the floor, we got nice new carpet. The trim around the pedals are new. You got reproduction mats. The seats, I can tell you, they've been recushioned. They feel nice and firm, and look how nice they fit. Now in back, it comes with a shop manual. There's some pictures of the restoration and miscellaneous uh, information about the car. But the seat belts are all here. The back seat's in real nice shape. The side panels are real nice. Uh, headliner, beautiful, no wrinkles. Uh, visors look like they've been redone. The shoulder belts are somewhat like discolored. I don't know, maybe they're out of another car or something, but the shoulder belts are there, but they're a little discolored looking. It's got a really nice interior. Pretty uh, cool to see Rally 1s on a 68 GTO, and the red lines, I think, against this color really make it pop.
You have a very nice proper motor compartment. The engine itself is clean and tidy. Uh, these vacuum lines are still in place. The brackets look proper, the air cleaner. They did buy the Ram Air 3 uh, exhaust manifolds and they were ceramic coated. The air conditioning's been serviced. I see some newer components, an R134 Freon. All the metal surfaces are clean and smooth, and it just looks very proper. There's a lot going on in here. The squirters are hooked up. We've got air, we've got power steering, we've got power brakes. But it all looks pretty proper and good. Alternator looks fairly new. Valve covers, uh, have great chrome, has a Delco battery topper with the spring clamp cables, a reproduction GM hose and clamps, got the clutch fan, the shroud, hood insulation. I tell you what, this is one of those cars, the more time I'm spending with it, I really like the car. Uh, it seems to be a good, clean, respectable, number two condition car. Uh, and it really seems to run good. It just revs up nice and clean. It's got a nice sounding idle. The shifter just clicks in the gears. Seems like a really good car. Colors and options, it's gonna be really hard to beat that. Let's try and find a four speed with air car. In hideaways, that would be a must. If I personally was buying one of these GTOs to keep, I love the hideaway lights. Uh, that would be a must on my list. If I didn't have this car and you came to me and said, Jay, get me hideaway lights, four speed, air condition, uh, numbers matching, I would say, yeah, good luck, buddy. You've got all that and more with this one here. Go to volocars.com. Uh, I just gave you my impression. Plenty of ways on there to talk with the salesman. If you have questions or concerns, ask them. They'll help you the best they can. Uh, they can help get this delivered to your door. They can help you finance this car. Go to volocars.com. I hope you enjoy the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon so you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.